I was recently aboard Royal Caribbean's Anthem of the Seas at the beginning of her European summer season. I was in cabin 662 on deck 12. I had booked a guaranteed balcony cabin, which is a cheaper way than selecting my own, but means that Royal Caribbean choose the one I stay in. And my initial thoughts were that this was going to be a great space for a week on board. The bed was over by the balcony, which is what I prefer, and it had a huge flat screen TV opposite. I was impressed by both the layout, which felt very spacious, and by the amount of storage on show. So let's take a closer look into the details. On the rear of the entrance door is the card showing the very important muster station location. Next to that is the room's thermostat, which controls the air conditioning and the keycard switch which powers the cabin light below. Over by the wall is a vanity desk with a circular mirror above and a chair and waste paper bin below. And adjacent to that is a chest of drawers with tea making facilities and a lamp on top. And despite its appearance, the chair was actually pretty comfortable. Above the desk is where you'll find two light switches, a European outlet, two USBs and two US outlets. And as Anthem is sailing out of Southampton, England, there is a kettle in the cabin along with tea bags, sugar, sweeteners and little pots of milk. In the drawer below is the hairdryer which is quite powerful and a couple of boxes of tissues. And below that is the fridge, which is ideal for storing some drinks. And there is a mini bar facility available on request and for an additional fee. The top of the next set of drawers has the information regarding the ship and its in-room facilities, which I'll show you later on. And below are three good sized drawers. Turning around and there's the first of two wardrobes. Inside there's a long hanging space with another at half height and hopefully more hangers than you'll ever require. In between is a sofa which comes with three comfy cushions and can be converted into a bed for two additional guests. The next wardrobe has four cubbies and a full length area ideal for dresses. In the middle is the safe, which is perfect for your personal items, but not large enough for a laptop. And there are two large drawers below. Other cruise lines should take note of how much storage is in this cabin. And there are two much larger cupboards over the bed, which we didn't actually use. Beneath is a royal king size bed, which can be split into two singles. I would describe the bed as being more on the firmer side, which again I prefer, and the pillows were huge. By the side of the bed is a lamp, with a telephone to call room service, reception or a cabin steward, and some open face drawers below. The telephone is actually a touchscreen, very fancy. The opposite side of the bed also has a lamp, plus a light switch and a US outlet and again more open face drawers below. This is the door into the bathroom with the light switch outside. The bathroom itself is a good size with a long basin and vanity unit. And the shower screen was glass, not plastic which I appreciate, and there's also a hook for your towel. Inside the shower is very powerful, so please be aware of that. There's also a dispenser for shampoo and body wash and a small shelf for toiletries and a handrail. And at the bottom there's a step up bar for shaving your legs, although I decided to pass on this. There's a simple monoblock tap above the basin. 
There's plenty of surface area for your toiletries and makeup, etc. Plus there are also three shelves next to a large mirror and here you'll also find two glasses. The shaver socket is located above. The bath and hand towels are fairly fluffy and can be replaced each day or you can choose to reuse them. And there's also a bin, a shower mat and the all important loo. Heading out onto the balcony and this is where the bonus for this cabin is. This is where the location where the ship starts to stick out so the balcony here is actually larger. Which is great considering I didn't pay any extra for this. You can probably see this better by looking at the cabins opposite. On the balcony is a small round table, two chairs and two footstools. One of the things I like to do on a sea day is have room service breakfast. The Continental breakfast is free, while the American breakfast occurs a $7.95 per room delivery fee. I decided to go for the Continental option. Just make sure you leave your completed card out the night before. I ordered toast, pastries, juices and fruit. It arrived on time and having breakfast on the balcony is a great way to start the day. My number one piece of advice is to ask for the cruise compass to be delivered each day. It has all the correct information regarding what's happening on board the ship. The app isn't very good at all and many people miss shows due to the information on it being incorrect. And also remember to listen to onboard announcements as things do change. There's also a book on the history of the ship and you can order mini bar drinks to your cabin for a fee. Room service can be ordered for appetizers, sandwiches and entrees, with kids items and desserts too for a $7.99 service fee. And a bag of laundry is $34.99. TV has safety, dining and entertainment information along with your onboard account details. There are channels relating to your time on board the ship with details of events and ports, plus a few regular TV channels too. And each evening your cabin steward will make these fun town animals. If you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't done so already please consider subscribing with the notification bell on I'm going to have so many more videos from this amazing cruise.